Hi, and welcome to the digital job site where the lumber's straight, the weather's great, and there really is a board stretcher. For you YouTube viewers, you can go to findhomebuilding.com and check out the digital job site blog there for um, all the background work that was done in creating this shed model. And to returning viewers, as promised, this digital job site post is going to cover uh, a smart way of working with components for your 3D models. Typical for the digital job site, I'm going to turn off the shadows and select the job site sign and hide it to speed things up a little bit. You can see how this is still showing because the hidden geometry is visible as a selection. Get those shadows turned off. Um, on the last digital job site, for some reason these shadows aren't shutting off today. On the last digital job site, um, we created this door component one piece at a time using an outline method. And that's great when you want to create something uh, unique to your model or um, if you want detail specific to your model or your preferences and create your own components. Um, another simple way to do this, a real quick way, is to use the SketchUp components online. Um, there's a library of I don't know how many thousand components created by people and manufacturers um, and they're free downloadable uh, fully functional 3D modeled components uh, which makes it a really smart thing to use if you're in a hurry or if you just don't want to spend the time creating, reinventing the wheel, creating something that somebody's already done. So for the shed, um, I think we should stick a window in it and um, I happen to know that Marvin Window Company has some window components that are available for download. I've used these before. And um, one feature that uh, is really slick with these is this little symbol in the corner means it's a dynamic component, which means that uh, it has properties built into the model. One of them is, in this case, um, is that the window is operational, which is kind of cool. So we're just going to uh, search through the all the windows. You can see how many different things are available. And this is just Marvin. If you, if you just type in windows, you'll get many, many more windows to use. But when we select this, this particular um, component from the online library, we get a choice here to download the model, and it'll ask us if we want to put it right into our our model and presto there it is. I'm going to close this component box and you can see that we now have a model uh, downloaded here. We didn't have to create this and uh, it is uh, true to scale dimensionally so it fits, it's proportional to our model and uh, you can see how we can stick it in this model anywhere we want it. it um, we can, we can uh, put it in any face, but I think we'll just stick it here next to the door for simplicity's sake. So that's how you go about uh, importing um, components from the SketchUp library or warehouse of components. Um, I'm going to do another video where we'll go to work on creating an opening and putting this window into our model.